Okay, so today I will show you guys how to create a mock-up in Pixar. It's really, really easy. Um, you just download the Pixar app <clears throat> in your phone and make sure that the picture that you want to use is already in your phone. Now, you will also need the, the mock-up blanks. If you want these mock-up blanks for free, I will upload the um, mock-ups to my group on Facebook, and the link will be below. So you can add my group on Facebook. It's a free group. You don't have to pay for it or anything. You add my group on Facebook. Go to the announcement section, and I will have the free mock-ups in the announcement section, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. So first, when you pull up your... Pixar screen it's gonna look like this you're gonna go to this plus sign down here at the bottom and then you're gonna go to your photos in your phone so it says all photos and as you can see I have all my mock-ups right here in the front um, so we're gonna do a t-shirt mock-up today so I'm just gonna pick the t-shirt here then you want to come over to add a photo now this is where you want your photo already in your phone so let me find my photo here okay so we can just use this one here you're gonna hit add and it brings up your photo okay so what I do is I make it the size that I want it a little bit smaller <clears throat> and then I'm gonna come over here to blend go to multiply and see how it kind of makes it go into the shirt make it a tad bit bigger these are so simple like that and then you come up here and hit apply and then there's your t-shirt mock-up you hit next save it and this just saves it to your phone then I'm gonna go to done I'm gonna go back to this plus sign <clears throat> go back to my photos I'm gonna come and I'm gonna pick my background now you can pick any background you want I have a few different backgrounds I always like to use my logo as my background I already have this pre-made so this is just my logo um, I also make this in Pix art. I just made it transparent. On the, I'm sorry. On the transparency, I took it all the way down so it wouldn't be so vibrant in the back. But you can also use different ones. So, um, just for an example, here's a background that I uploaded as well. So you can use that background if you want to. Come back here and add a photo. Pick the photo that you just made, add, and you can put it on a cute background like that. Um, you can even, whenever you get done on PixArt, doing whatever you do, you want to hit apply up here in the corner. You can even add another photo, and let me see here. Um... I have so many photos in my phone. Get my logo, add it right here in the corner. Apply. So that's your uh, mock-up right there. Um, then you just hit next <clears throat> and save it. It's super easy. Done. We're going to do another one just for fun. Um, let's see. Add photo. Let's do these water bottles. No. Let's do a chip bag. Chip bags are a little different, so let's do chip bags. So, you have your chip bag mock-up. Like I said, you can find these on my Facebook page. Um, my Facebook group, I'm sorry. My Facebook group will be linked below. So, you can just go to the link, go to the announcement sections. I will have all of the ones you just seen in there so that you can use them for free. So, you'll go to your photo and you're going to pick your chip bag and add it now this is a two-step process so i'll show you guys in just a second why it's a two-step process so you want to come here to crop 
and you want to crop the front of the chip bag because you're this is only going to be the front okay so crop the front of the chip bag apply and then just fit it on as best as you can it's not going to be perfect <laughs> but just fit it on as best as you can and then you want to go to blend multiply and see how you can now see the imprint of the chip bag now what i do is i come up here to the top in between this these squares and the arrow in this an eraser button and i just take my finger and kind of erase out the stuff that i don't need Okay, it's not perfect. You can make it perfect if you want to. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I keep clearing my throat. And there's your chip bag. So then you just hit apply. Next. And you want to go ahead and save that one. And then if you want to, you can just go. Well, I hit done. Never mind. You can go back as well and just start and just keep hitting your back button but we're gonna start over here sorry guys so i'm gonna go to all photos again and select my chip bag again and the same thing just come down here and add a photo select your chip bag this time you want to select it select it twice because this is for the back of the chip bag so on this one i'm gonna crop it same thing here you just want to crop the other side so that you have two sides here and apply that and then you want to come over and fit them on to your chip bag here that's a little too long Same thing with this one. Make sure it's even on both sides. Is it well as even as you can get it? And it's okay to leave a small space in the middle, cause that'll be like the flap. I feel like this side's bigger than the other. Let's try to get it even. Okay, and then you're going to come... <clears throat> excuse me. Then you're going to come to blend. Again, multiply. And then come to your eraser. And you're going to just erase off what you don't need. Again, this isn't perfect. I'm just doing it for the sake of the video. Um, definitely, you can do it better. Ugh, I messed that up right there. Anytime you mess up, you can go and hit this back button, and it'll take away whatever you just did. Okay, so... Select this one, do the same thing. Oh, don't erase yet. Go to blend, then you can see the side of the chip bag. It makes it a lot easier. I'm gonna actually pull this over just a tad bit so I don't take so much of her hand off. And I'm gonna erase. And some of it cuts off, but you can still see what it says. Pull this down just a little bit. Okay. 
I'm going back to erase and get some of this. Clean this up a little bit more. I don't want to be a perfectionist right now. I'm just for the sake of the video. But I don't want it to look crazy either. Okay. So that's how you do the back of your chip bag. And I know it's not perfect, guys. I do. Um, and then you want to go ahead and save that. So, and then you do the same exact thing. So, you go to your photos. Mm, I was trying to see if I had that, my background with my logo in it without it being so transparent. But it doesn't look like that I do. Um, but that's okay. So, I'll use this. That's just my logo again. You're gonna go in and add your pictures. So you wanna select your chip bag. Yeah. I had to 